So today I'm here to teach you how to install the vocoder in DaVinci Resolve to allow you to export ProRes in DaVinci Resolve. So I already made this video a while ago, over one year, and I have a lot of people complaining that they can't install it, they have problems with this and problems with that. So I decided to create a new video and this time I'm gonna do it step by step with you and I'm gonna explain all the steps that you have to do to install it correctly. But one thing that you have to know, this only works in the studio version. This is not for the free version. So if you have the free version, this is not for you. Of course, you can watch it and I appreciate it you watch it, but this is for the paid version, for the studio version only. So let's go into the computer and let me show you how you can install this and export in ProRes in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go. So here we are in my computer and the first thing you have to do is go to the vocoder webpage. To do that, very easy, just type vocoder.org like here, so vocoder.org and this is the landing page where you go. And next you go here to the downloads and you have to download two files. First one is this one, the vocoder version 13.3 as you can see it's from the 29th of October of this year so this is recent and come here and download it and the other thing that you have to download is here this DaVinci Resolve Studio For, as you can see it only works in the studio version and I forgot this only works on Windows machines okay so I forgot to tell you that but this is only for Windows machines and you download also this file here. Then you will go to the place where you downloaded, in my case, in here. As you can see, we have two files, the vocoder 13.3 MSI and this zip file called Volt Resolve Connector 0.12.4. First thing you have to do is extract this and extract it. And when you extract it, it opens, it creates this folder. And inside of that, you have the readme txt with the instructions and you have this uh, folder here we can open the txt file and you have here the installation instructions and i copy this until here the support copy this let's close the window and go to my c drive as you can see i'm in the c drive and i paste that and it enter and it appears this. As you can see, I already have this IO plugins folder, but probably if it's your first time, you don't have this folder, so you have to create it. To do that, it's very easy. Just come here, right click, new. In my case, it's in Portuguese, but for you, it's new and folder, and it appears like this, and you type IOP capital letters and plugins and enter and it will create this folder. Since I already have it, I'm not going to create this folder. So after you create the folder, you go to the folder and the fol folder will be empty. In my case, as you can see, I already have these two files. But if your is empty, go to here where you have the downloaded and copy and paste this over here. I'm not going to copy it because I already have it, but you will copy it over here. And this part is done. So you can close the, the support plug, IO plugins folder, close it and come back here to the installer. And next you will come here and in, install the vocoder. Double click it and it will appear this window. Type next. As you can see, I already have it. So in my case, it's not saying to install, it's to repair or to remove. So you will install it and in the finish, after it's done installation, you can close this. So next you will go open DaVinci Resolve. I already have it here and go to the delivery page over here and come here. You give it a name to your 
let me go test and come here where it says format right go to the bottom and you can see here vocoder and i always change the type to here yub high bit depth and come here to where it says configure vocoder and here is where you decide what codec you want to use for video for audio everything so let's go here as you can see i already have it selected to progress but you can have this all these formats av1 gopro h264 h265 avec nvidia prores quicktime all this so but i usually use it for prores so prores then come here to the options i always like to use the the profile 4444 as you can see it uses this codec but you can change to 422 or 444 i usually use 444 because the quality is better then i go to the audio and i come here to the options and you can change the bit rate so you can increase your bit rate quality normally i use this one and then you go to the output and you have two options or mkv or move I always go with QuickTime Move and select OK, then add to render queue and render it. And there you have it, how easy it is. So as you could see, it's very easy. You just have to do this step by step and all the steps and then you can export ProRes inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you still have any doubts, just leave them down below in the questions that I will answer to you. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button, that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I'll launch a video. Until then, bye!